Hey guys, Jake Bell, Big Ben here. Welcome back to the show. Today we have a movie review. Ben will tell us all about it. But first, make sure you stay tuned because later on today, we're going to tell you how to win one of these bad boys over here. And make sure you check out some of the new merch. We got some trifold uh, masks and gaiters right over here. Uh, link is in the description below. Um, and we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we finally got a movie review for you. We know y'all have been hungry for these movie reviews, and we haven't done one in quite a while because, of, you know, stuff. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I think the last one we did was uh, Three from Hell. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. a while ago. Well, Tell us about the movie. We're, we're not doing so many movies because we have the social distance. Speaking of, that's the name of the movie we're doing today. It's an indie movie that won a bunch of awards. This is Social Distance right here. Check it out. It's great. We're, we're going to do this review here. Uh, it's a film by Luciano Barsuglia. The star is Jed Rowan, Vernon Wells, Tasha Takosa, Rachel Riley, and Casey Brown. And one of them is going to be on later so we can do the interview with, with them. So stick around for that. You're going to love it. And welcome back. <laughs> All right, so do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? You go first. Um, so, okay. I'm, I'm going to be as completely honest as I possibly can here. All right. I, I went into this movie knowing uh, one of the actors in the movie. Okay. I went into this movie... I, I am... Uh, Acquainted with the the director, um, and you will see in the new movie, The Electric Man, the logo uh, in that movie. Um, but that will not affect my judgment of this movie, um, and I will critique it to the fullest of my ability. Okay, with that said. I loved this movie. I loved it. I thought it was going to be... It, it caught me completely off guard. I thought it was going to be an indie movie. You know? Uh, horrible acting. Horrible special effects. Just, you know, I thought it was going to be like... Like us. <laughs> Sometimes. When we're doing our, yeah. our, our bits where, where we're just, you know, fucking around. And we're like, oh, wow! Cool! kind of thing, you know, but that, that is not the way this movie was at all. And the great thing is, is it was filmed like with cell phones and webcams and the writing was pretty much on par, you know, I mean, there was a little, sometimes like, you know, there was like a, yeah, where it didn't really need to be, but, um, for the most part, I love this movie. I love the direction that it went. I love... It, it caught me off guard so many times, which movies don't normally do, um, because they usually go in the direction I think they're going to go in, and that kind of makes it boring, which is one reason why I love, like, uh, Truth or Dare, because the ending of that movie was really cool just because I didn't really think that that was a way that they would go, you know, because usually movies end, oh, happy go lucky, let's, you know, let's happy, happy ending, yay, you know, mm -hmm. and that's not how these movies ended, this movie ended at all. It was not a happy ending. It, it, it did leave you leaving, uh, asking some questions, um, you know, let me, let me, let me get to my notes here that I took. Let's see. Get to my notes. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, social distance. Here's my notes. 
The opening music was great. It was fantastic. It was creepy, but on par. The the graphics, if you recall, because we were watching it together over over uh, Discord, if you recall, I had to stop the DVD or the Blu-ray player because I thought the DVD itself was fucking up. Right. And that's yeah. how good the 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 distortion in this in this film is. A little overboard. But something that I can overlook, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously, you know, when you're doing a call like this, it doesn't happen all the time, constantly, for two hours. You know what I'm saying? And on every single call, it doesn't happen. So, a, a little overboard with the, the, the distortion effects. Um, but... I will leave the link in the description for this movie. Make sure you guys... Grab it, check it out. Back to my notes. Uh, so I, I said the opening music was great. And in fact, the, the music for the whole movie was good. You know, so the background noise, the, the, the just the background music that continuously played through the, the movie was um, was really good. Um, it had me laughing, man. I don't think this was a comedy movie. Um, and it had me laughing. I mean, there was definitely jokes in there, you know. Uh, for instance, I'm not giving a spoiler or anything with this joke or anything, but it was like they had this ongoing joke about uh, pants, you know, wearing pants online uh, while doing the video, which I think they, you know, the rule of comedy is three times and it's not funny anymore. You know, and and the guy kind of did it several times, um, but it kind of paid off at the end. You know, I won't tell you why until we get into the spoilers. Um, that had me laughing pretty pretty good. Um, and then let's see, I wanted to know. It had me asking the question, which I believe we were discussing before this. Uh, is is the movie told from the old man's perspective? Like, is it told from him watching them, or is it told from somebody else watching him, him and them? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I couldn't, I couldn't tell. Which I guess is a good thing as well. You know, it has you guessing as to what's going on in the movie. Mm -hmm. So you, you you couldn't tell who was watching who, like. Okay, you get the old man's watching them, but who is watching him? Is anybody watching the old man? Kind of thing. Um, right. uh, let's see. My favorite line in the movie. It's kind of, I don't know. It caught me off guard. Off, off, yeah, it caught me off guard. God damn. <laughs> It caught it me off. off. Took you off your gourd, huh? <laughs> yeah, you know I'm off my gourd, dude. I'm off my. Floor. My mom used to say I'm I'm, I'm a gourd head. I'm off my gourd. Caught <laughs> uh, you off guard. Yeah, so it caught me off guard. So uh, the line it was actually um, he says, "So dinosaurs built them," referring to the pyramids. Back, way back when I don't remember when what the date he said it was, but that just fucking blew me for a loop. I was crackling. I, I had to pause the movie, rewind it a little bit, um, just to to see what happened next because that just it caught me so so far off guard. It just made me laugh. Um, there was. A little weird dance scene in there that I didn't really care for. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, where they were trying to get people to get up and move and dance. That was kind of awkward. Yeah. Uh, that could have been. That was. That was yeah. yeah. Oh. I, I could have done without that. Um, and then well, I think anything else is going to get into spoilers. So I'm going to I'm going to let you you do your talking. Uh, I'm going to give it a nine. Wow. That's how much I... Because even though it had those little, little things, 
you know, like the dancing, the the extra line, the joke that kind of went a little too long, the the these mm-hmm. little things. It didn't really matter. I I really just thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I was intrigued with it. I it yeah. kept me hanging on, wanting to know more um, about it. And then Casey, who is going to join us here in a little bit, his character, Nick, uh, was probably my favorite character because he was the deepest character. And we'll talk about that Mm -hmm. with him. Um, But I feel like he had just more going on with his life rather than a threesome and being jealous and all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? He was an addict, and he fall off. He fell off the horse, and now he's he's drinking again. And you know, I mean, it, it, and it just spirals the fuck down out of control. And uh, again, uh, no spoilers, but yeah, that that was probably my favorite character, and uh, because it was so such a deep character. Um, but yeah, I give it a nine. What about you, Ben? Nice. Nice. Um, I too enjoyed this movie. I, I did a lot. Um, it kind of just starts out like a normal, you know, whatever movie. You could tell, like, like you said, that uh, that was all like a low budget kind of, you know, deal going on. But uh, a lot of the characters really. I mean, I but like like I said, I expected the acting to be kind of not good and it, I was gladly disappointed there that it was very good the acting anyway <laughs> and uh, um, at least for the most part there were a couple of scenes that that were like like you said like the dancing for me there was a scene with a guy in the woods that just broke the immersion yeah that was kind of a little bit um it it doesn't go where you expect it to go. The uh, the Nick character, like you said, the Nick character uh, is uh, probably the the deepest storyline. It, it leaves a lot of questions, like you said. Uh, what what you know, like like the the there's a thing about Antarctica, and there's a there's a thing about uh, a new kind of well, I don't want to give it up, but um, I think that that character was ultimately uh, infected by the, what they were talking about. And, she, and and that's part of the reason why it all wound up spiraling out of control like that. And, uh, you know, uh, like you said, there's questions like, who was, who was the one hacking everybody and watching all of it was this person actually controlling how things were going in certain little ways or you know what i mean like uh it it, (laughs) there was for me there was a couple of funny parts there too the the pants thing was pretty funny uh there there was a scene where they're trying to do a psa remember yeah (laughs) and it doesn't it doesn't go well (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but uh you know the movie was surprisingly good uh, surprisingly good one of the one of those few gems that you get from the indie where it's like yeah you know this is not only not just extremely watchable but you know i might sit down and watch it again at some point too you know like to catch all the stuff that i didn't catch the first time around you know like so yeah I, um I'll give it. I'll give it an eight. Okay. It was. Good. It was good. That's not a bad score. Yeah I, yeah. I. I just. I really got felt like I was immersed with it, especially like how we. We're always doing these calls like this. You know, our videos are like this the entire time. Yeah. So it kind of brought back memories of this. You know, and uh-huh. um, it, man, it was just. It really just caught me off my rocker, man. I just, I was not expecting it to be as good as it is. Um, right, yeah. And it definitely deserves all the uh, awards that it has been given, you know. Um, did you want to read them off? Oh, yeah. I'll read them one right here. So, they won. Award of Merit. Special mention for Vernon 
Gene Wells, Supporting Actor. Award of Merit, Winner, Jed Rowan. Best Actor, Award of Merit, Winner. Social Distance, Feature Film, Best Feature Film, nice. Winner, in the Indie Best Film Festival 2020, Awards of Merit in the categories of Feature Film, Direction for B. Luciano Barsuglia, and Acting by Jed Rowan. Winner of three awards in the New York City Indie Film Festival are Best Feature Film, Best Actor, Vernon Wells, and Best Director, nominated for Best Actor also was Jed Rowan, and Best As Actor for Female, Best Actress, I guess, Tasha Takosa. Best Screenplay, Winner, in the Accolade Global Film Competition for Best Feature Film, Best Actor, Jed Rowan, and Special Mention for Best Supporting Actor, Vernon Wells. Winner of, of the Vegas Movie Awards, Award of Prestige for Best Feature Film and Best Screenplay. The semi finalists in the categories were Best Actor, Jed Rowan, and Best Director. And uh, winner of the Bronze Award for Feature Films, Latitude Awards, uh, Latitude Film Awards, official selection to the 2020 Vegas Cinefest International Film Festival in consideration in the category of Feature Film. Soon finalists in the Focus International Film Festival for Best Feature, Best Director, Best Actor, Jed Rowan, Best Supporting Actor, Vernon Wells, Best Actress, Tasha Takosa, and Best Supporting Actress, Rachel Riley. Nominated for Best Editing in the Diabolical Horror Film Festival. Nice. That's a lot of awards. Wow. That well, is a lot of good awards. Movie. I'm, not, I'm not really surprised that they won all these awards. It was a really good movie. That's what I'm saying. So, um, if you're good, I'm going to go ahead and invite Casey into the chat. First of all, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for joining yeah. us, man. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking exciting. Uh, so we already actually did our non-spoiler part of the review. Okay. So we didn't really spoil mm -hmm. anything. We gave like a, what, what we thought of the movie as, as a whole and our, our ratings. Um, so just so you know, I gave it a nine. Oh, wow. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. Cool. And, and Ben here gave it a, uh, uh, an eight. Oh, nice, nice. Yep. Um, and then I figured you would join us for the whole spoiler part of the review and then maybe talk, and we have questions. I know I have, I have a ton of questions. Uh, I don't know if Ben got yeah. any, but, uh, yeah, and just kind of oh, wing cute. it. We don't have any lines. This, this is just a total show of, like, you know, say what you got to say, you know. Try not to offend too many we people. Kind of no, we're not offending people on this. Damn it! I said, I said too many. <laughs> too, many. Okay. too many. So, so we have 538 subs at the moment. If you offend eh, half, I'm okay. But, All right, that's that's but, but, but we only have like five viewers. So, oh, we gotta get them numbers up. We got, we gotta get them. Well, oh, we're, yeah, we're trying, but we do this no, as a yeah, hobby. Absolutely. And we love it, you know, especially when we have special guests. We're, we're going to get a million viewers on this one. Probably mm. just my mom, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> hey, that's totally cool because, you know what? To be honest, my mom is a subscriber. So oh, <laughs> she's go. the one that, that likes all the videos and watches all the fucking videos anyway. So. Same with all my <laughs> stuff, even though then she calls me and tells me, like, I I didn't like the Hail Satan shirt. Like, whatever. <laughs> well, I say to each their own. I don't really care. Yeah. As long as you're not hurting somebody, uh, then I don't really give a shit what you do. Um, so well, actually, I actually thought that was, that was a good prop and kind of helped with your character to, to kind of know where your character is at. Yes. I thought so, too. I thought it was a great. I was lucky to, that I randomly had it in the closet. So let's jump into your character first of all. Before we get all into right. the review stuff and everything, I fucking loved your character. I felt like your character was like the deepest character in the movie. Oh, you know? Yeah, um, and it had the it had the most like feeling behind it. You know, like whenever I saw you, especially towards the end when your character started going really far downhill, like that kind of dread feeling that you get. You know, like. Which is kind of, I'm pretty sure what you guys were shooting for there. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I think we were just. I, I was going. Let's let's. If if I'm gonna spiral, let's take it as far as we can go with it. Yeah, I com- I think you did far past what you would normally see on screen like that. I mean, your your spiral went fucking just straight down. <laughs> just just and, nose dive. And but literally here's, nose dove. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> here's the thing, though. I I think that I was so emotionally invested in your character that it it hurt, man. I was like, what? What the fuck? Why is this happening? He should not be doing this. You know, the only the only like uh, my 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 sad part was not just you know what happens towards the end, but that you hear a female in in like voice in there as well. Right, right. You know, yeah. um and uh you know, I'm not again, I'm not trying to like hurt anybody's feelings or anything, but you kind of did like a a crisp and wah kind of out of control <laughs> right, right. where you just like went crazy and and and, sh- and killed everybody kind of thing. And I I fucking love that. Like I was telling Ben earlier in the in in the non-spoiler review is that that's one reason why I really liked um, Truth or Dare, because the ending went somewhere you didn't really think it was going to go. You thought it was going to be this happy-go-lucky, we all live happily ever after kind of ending, and that's just Mm. not how it ended, and I love movies that do that. Um, Because life is not about a fucking happy ending. Yeah, I mean, if you're watching uh, horror movies or thrillers for happy endings, you're watching the wrong movies. Exactly. And... When when the good guy prevails, it's just like great, another one of those. Yeah, you know. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> but like, dude, I just so. <laughs> all right, let me let me refer back to my notes really quick. So you had a yeah, line. First of all, I want to say, did um, did you like improv a lot of this, or was this all scripted? Like that, I was wondering that too. Like, how much of you actually went into this character? So we we got the script in in pieces, right? So he uh, the director came to me with with an idea of where he wanted to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wrote out the entire first act, and then we filmed that. So I really had no idea where where my character was heading, other than like, okay, I can see a uh, I can see the addiction. Um, I have it in my head; it's probably not going to end well. And, um, you know, I, I, I kind of throwing some stuff at him and bouncing it back and forth. We're like, okay, well, we'll go that route. And I'm just like, I'm going to spiral out with it as far as I can go with it. Um, the, uh, as that far as the did. script, you know, I would, I would take the... Most of the stuff isn't verbatim of from the script he gave. You know, I, I tend to like to be able to improv a little bit with it. Yeah. You know, un- unless the uh, a particular director is no go verbatim, like I I just like adding a little more myself. Yeah, I I, I personally I enjoy when an actor can, you know, use their talent and improv. You know, I mean, it, mm-hmm. I think it gets a better performance. I think mm-hmm. uh, it, it yeah. ultimately just gets better everything overall, better shoot I think shots. It feels and, more realistic. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm-hmm. And and that was what I really loved about it is because like Ben and I has been doing this show since the COVID thing because um, we, we we're all you know pretty susceptible to the to the virus and everything him and his wife um, and me and my my kids you know and my mom who's diabetic and everything so um, we're having to do it like this and that just like it fucking brought back like everything about having to do this shit over. Uh, over a screen, you know, yeah. so it really felt like like mm-hmm. we knew what was going on in this movie and how it felt and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but so, who came up with the lines? So dinosaurs built them. Was that you or was that no? The- no, that was that whole scene. Uh, Brian sent me that, and and yeah, that was the, the that was the scene where uh, Jed and I are talking about the conspiracies, right? And I'm eating the the peanuts or whatever. Yeah, and and he yeah. says about the pyramids in Antarctica, yeah. and you're yeah, like, so the dinosaurs built them. Alley. 
Yeah. That fucking cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. It, I mean, now that I hear it like myself, it's not like hilariously funny, like a George Carlin yeah. joke, just, you know, punching it right there. But it just like fucking, it's a, like a Mike Tyson punch just caught me out of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it just busted me up and I had to rewind it a little bit and uh, just to catch everything else after that scene. Mm. Um, uh so I, uh, we we talked about like our issues with the the movie, and I didn't want to spoil any parts of it. So this is kind of the spoilery part of it. Um, so there's a guy who's a captain of a ship, right? Right. And mm-hmm. he commits suicide, mm-hmm. obviously because he doesn't want people to find out, and he was going to die anyway uh, or whatever. And uh, but the chick Alexis, okay, she okay. was she was kicked off. The, uh, the the call before that happened, correct? That from what I recall, I thought was that not later in the movie that because I know she was she was kicked off a call, but that was uh, mm-hmm. that was towards the beginning, and then later she got fired. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to recollect. It's been a minute since I've watched it myself, so I have to... So so here's where I'm getting at. So, Alexis, this is how I remember it, and I'll go back and watch it again and everything, but this is, like, what what I wrote down while watching it, you know, on my phone and everything. Mm -hmm. So, Alexis comes in later on and says um, something about the suicide, and I was just, like, wondering if you had, like, an insight, like, how she knew about the suicide if she was kicked off the conference call like did somebody tell her that wasn't supposed to tell her or like Um, what happened i have no idea i mean it could be uh could be that it was just shared information or um i'd have to go back and and re-see that to to make that connection and like i said it's been it's been a it's been a minute since i've watched it so yeah no worries um i i just that's why i that kind of just caught me like I was like hang on how did she know the suicide was she there and I mm-hmm. couldn't remember and I wanted to ask you and then I'll, I'll go back and watch it um, and I we talked about the Nick going nuts um, mm-hmm. let's see I think that's pretty much all my notes as far as that uh, that goes but I just wanted to say, like, this is a damn good movie. I was expecting yeah. an indie movie, right. you know, like a yeah. low budget movie where shit, yeah, yeah. where shit, uh, kind of <laughs> hits the fan. <laughs> well, like we've all seen the indie movies, right? Some of them are just, mm, you know, uh, well, and then you have other ones that win win awards. <laughs> Like like social distance, which are awesome, uh, and Ben named them all out earlier. And why wasn't you in there, man? Yeah, seriously, your your character had one of the best arts of the whole movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, and I'm happy that people are happy with it. You know, I've seen a lot of uh, reviews so far that that have have specifically name dropped me, and I'm thrilled with it every time. You know, um, I. I the the first opportunity I got a chance to see it, and I was like, I, the way it was edited, uh, because the way we all filmed our pieces individually. Oh, that was so another question of mine too. Yeah, so we're not acting like I'm not bouncing lines back off of another person. Like the timing just ended up working really well. Brian's editing of it is, uh, I mean, he's getting amazing credit for it, but it's still so undercredited it's mind-blowing how well his editing of this film was yeah no it was Mm -hmm. great i i even spoke about it when you when you watch this whole video edited and everything you'll you'll see that i i said that the the distortion in the screen Mm -hmm. made me think my dvd was fucking up (laughs) we actually stopped the movie for a second and checked out the dvd player to (laughs) i Dead serious, man. We were watching it together over over Discord, and I fucking I was like, "Wait a second, is that like is that the movie or is that my fucking my my player?" Like, mm. 
and I had to stop it and restart the movie and everything, and it was just like, that's how good it was. Yeah. Now, I think the, so we also spoke that I think the, like the digitizing thing kind of went a little too much at times, okay. mm-hmm. you know, um, but it didn't ruin anything for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This movie is better than any other internet-based movie, like Unfriended or any of those other ones. And then it it's even better than the garbage, like, you know, oh, I don't know, Skywalker, Rise of Skywalker? I didn't hate Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say the name, it gets worse. <laughs> But I mean, I mean, I had a couple of questions. I just, I really, really enjoyed it. And uh, you said you had some questions, Ben. Yes, I do. Well, mine's mostly film theory questions. Like, uh, okay, so obviously we're seeing the movie from somebody who's hacking this whole network, right? Okay. And I'm wondering, was this person the one that was hacking the whole network and putting in this whatever God mode? Uh, was kind of doing something to all the characters in this movie to make them more susceptible to the uh, kind of darker feelings like you know there's a stabbing and a shooting and um if if it if they if they were I don't know that it was alluded to um, I know they were kind of watching over everybody, and mm-hmm. I think we were just being susceptible to all, our, all the, you know, all our demons, you know, like mine of, uh, you know, um, drinking and alcohol and, and drugs. Uh, right. You know, and, and that's just a, a thing that a lot of people are going through right now during this whole thing. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and you, you get people right now, uh, you know, in re- relationships, there's a, a lot more domestic abuse going on. I mean, that's, you can look at the numbers, that's a fact. So, you know, I don't know if that, uh, um, you know, the God mode, you know, was doing anything to cause that. I think it's just the circumstances, you know, like kind of mirrored life a lot. That was kind of my other question was, was it part of a, because they they said they found something in Antarctica. Mm -hmm. No, the Lockroy thing? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was wondering if maybe whoever was watching was kind of running an experiment on all of you guys. Like, giving you the virus and seeing how far out of control it gets. Yeah. That's um, an interesting theory. You know, yeah, it, it could be. You know, like, there could be a part two. I don't... <laughs> it delves deeper. I mean, if this thing goes on any longer, hell, you can have five or six movies out of it. Right. <laughs> right. Well, you can't. I mean, so. <laughs> you know, you know, we didn't see what happened in the bedroom, so yeah, you know. give yourself a day and be another character. Yeah, <laughs> hey, who knows? Two could be about the zombies. Oh, you know, mm-hmm. and he comes back as a zombie. You know, that's mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that would that would be definitely. I'd watch that for sure. <laughs> Rona zombies. <laughs> Did you have Rona any more questions, Ben? Uh. No, just uh, how long did this movie take you guys to make all together? Uh, I th- we start, I mean, as soon as the the lockdowns and everything hit, we got into it right away. I think, I want to say we started in April and finished up sometime in May or June. It, it didn't take too long at all. Wow. Yeah, it, was, it was pretty quick out the gate. That's a that's a fast turnaround right there. Yeah, yeah I didn't have anything better to do. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I, right. But I mean, me, I I'm fairly decent at editing now because of the channel and everything, and it takes fucking time to edit that stuff. And then yeah. you think he had to edit uh, up to what six or seven freaking videos at a time together. All yeah. separate performances, trying to get them all to line up. Pride, no, that had to be. Well, as, yeah. as he was still writing it, as uh, I mean, I would send him uh, just out of boredom some nights when I didn't have anything specific to film. I would say, like, you know, hey, let's let me try this out. Let's, let, and I would just send him random videos of stuff. You know, like there's that uh, part where um, 
it doesn't show the whole thing, but you, you see me like I'm just bawling. Like, I sent him a few of those, like, where I got really into it. Nice. Now, my, my favorite scene in there was, uh, and and it, it cracked me up. I don't know if I'm just weird or, or a fucking freak or what, but you're <laughs> like this. And you got this fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the ring the ring no you got yeah you got like uh. <laughs> yeah uh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that, fucking, that had me cracking up man had me cracking up so bad um <laughs> now uh, was that real <laughs> of course yes <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that was no, the, no, that wasn't. But the alcohol mostly was. Like I drank like a fish during this damn thing. I probably oh, wow. shouldn't say that, but it's true. Well, that that's, that was the next thing um, I was going to ask you. Is that stumbling when you got up looked really convincing, dude? <laughs> Very convincing. <laughs> Like I, I, I literally thought you were gonna fucking stumble and bust your ass on the couch or something, man. Thought but, about it. Thought about it. <laughs> that would have been great. Um, now I may just be stupid here, but who the guy who was playing on the TV in the background? Who was that? Uh, the the guy who was doing the the religious uh, cultist. Yeah, thing. the religious thing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I forget the actor's name, but it, uh, he did amazingly at at that role. Um, off the top of my head, I, I, I can't remember his name, but yeah, he, I, I thought it was a great part. Yeah, he gave nice. off like a huge like Charles Manson vibe. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was where I was wanting to go next was like because I mean everything kind of ended culminated with like him mm -hmm. and his cult or church or whatever, mm -hmm. like. A question I would like answered is, is the old man a part of that church? Is mm -hmm. the old man uh, okay. the one controlling the God mode? Is Or is he just another puppet of this televangelist mm -hmm. uh, guy who is, like, uh, you know, recruiting for his cult, apparently, with this uh, chick, uh, Alexis, that has two million followers and... Mm -hmm. uh, all that stuff, you know. Any inside on that? Uh, I I have no idea. The I I think the film definitely uh, leaves some unanswered questions, um, which I don't think yeah. it's necessarily a bad thing. I don't think you always no, have to. No, I, that's I, a great. Thing. I, 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 it makes me think about it a lot more. Yeah, you know, after after it's done. Yeah, like it, it's, it's not. Really not it's not here. bad un uh, unanswered questions, you know. It's not like, why did Ray kiss Kylo? Kind of an unanswered question. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, it, it, it's more I, of like, could this be Could this be in a sequel? Could this go right. further? Could it go deeper? Could it go, right. you know, into the government? Could it go past the government? Is it the Illuminati kind of right. thing? You know what I'm saying? That's where well, these you know, unanswered you know, questions are pulling my mind anyway. Yeah. In a film with so many conspiracies and theories of those, I think uh, in this one, definitely the viewer can kind of put a lot of stuff together and ask the same type of questions of like, hmm, oh, are they connected? Uh, oh, are they? Or, you know, how does this all work? And I, I think uh, one of the great parts of the film, it, it doesn't need to make all those connections, you know, and it right. keeps you keeps you guessing at the end, yeah. you know. Yeah, for yeah, sure. absolutely. Yeah, and like I said, I've been I've been mulling these kind of things over in my head. Like, is this person that you know is the old man being manipulated to? Is this mm -hmm. you know is it an experiment or you know all, all that stuff? Like, and and it, it it actually kind of makes me want to know the answers to those questions and maybe right. a sequel. <laughs> yeah, I I haven't heard anything yet on my end, but uh, as soon as you know I hear anything, you know I'll I'll let ever, everyone know. Well, well, let's hope that you uh, you get written back in. Maybe you just killed your girlfriend or something like that, and or maybe you just Wait, shot a hole in the wall. Who knows? 
you know my twin brother <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you maybe you passed out with the gun in your hand and it went off and, and nobody yeah, got hurt uh, <laughs> well I just we'll heard see. warning shots <laughs> it all it all happened off screen so it's quite possible your character survived whatever try you know whatever he tried to do yeah there's uh, you know there's always that you know what exactly happened especially when mm-hmm. it's off an off screen thing like that and, and and if if your character did survive it'd be that would be the only person a person could talk to for answers. Yeah. Because the old man recruited the other guy and everyone else is dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except for Alexis. Well, yeah, she, sur- yeah, she was oh, yeah. again. I mean, her hair <laughs> was falling out, but... She survived with social media. Man, I love social media. <laughs> uh, don't worry, we ain't got no two million followers. It's... it's... Not even yeah. like that. <laughs> if somebody asked me, your job or your two million followers, I bye. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I was like, fuck you. Two million followers? Hell yeah, man. That means whoever, fuck yeah. whatever the platform is, you, is paying you. got two million followers, you ain't going to have a problem finding a job. Right. No. That was one of my favorite lines in the film, Like, I, where she's just like, mm, fuck you. Yep. I don't care. <laughs> That was definitely an agreeable moment there. Um, all right, so uh, you're a movie star now, right? Like, um, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't like the term movie star. I don't. I actor, sure, you know. Um, movie star feels weird. Weird still. I don't. Right. Yeah, you know, it, it's star. fun when people you're say it. It's fun, but Superstar. right. You know, it, it's fun when people say it. I don't. It, it, it's it's just a shirt I'm not comfortable wearing yet. I guess. Well, dude, I've been following your career career since I met you, and um, I, I you're gonna go far, man. You're fucking. You're great, dude. Uh, yeah. I try to catch everything that you watch, or I try to watch <laughs> everything that you're you know, in. Little camera in your computer. <laughs> is there, who's is, spying on me now <laughs> uh, but yeah shit I probably shouldn't have said that huh <laughs> how do you think how do you think they got the webcam footage for your movie man that's all me I, know, I, know. I, <laughs> I, I submitted it to him I was like here just take this guy's uh, shit he's all fucked up here he just likes Doing drugs right in front of his webcam. For well, some yeah, reason. that's that's the best place. <laughs> but, but no, dude, seriously, I I've watched your career and it's growing constantly. Um, you were in an episode of the, of the one of my favorite shows, The Librarians. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, which is I watched that too religiously. Yeah, right. I mean, that was like when I've watched all the movies. I've watched all the. Uh, the episodes in the season, and you know, it was uh, really cool to see you in there uh, as well. And then you were in one of my I favorite. Got, I got to chase Rebecca Romaine with a hammer. I mean, that was right. Not say anything, but I mean, that's great. You know, right? And then um, you were also in um, Green Room with Patrick Stewart, and you got to meet yeah. him. And uh, oh, I can't yeah. remember his name, but the guy that unfortunately passed. Oh, Anton um, Yelchin. Yes, Anton Yelchin. Um, we got to meet oh, wow. those guys, um, yeah. and and you know, you're fucking immortal now, you know, because you're in there for a few seconds, you know, right. in that you know, hey, go turn that down, you know, I, I fucking love it, dude. You're it's you're immortal, you know. You're in a movie with Patrick Stewart. Yeah, you know. It's, it's, uh, don't get much better than that, man. <laughs> Fuck no, dude. I would, I I would, does. I do you know how many people I would kill that. right now? If I've topped out at that, then now it's all downhill. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say all downhill, but your parts are getting your parts are getting bigger. Yeah. We're we're seeing how great of an actor you are. Um, you're in a, in a couple of new movies as well. If you want to throw those out, what a uh, bloodlust, bloodthirst. Bloodthirst. Yeah, that's uh, 
So next year I should have a few, or I should have a handful of stuff coming out. Uh, Bloodthirst, I think, is going to be the first one. That's with uh, Tara Reed, Costas Mandalore, and Robert Lusardo. Nice. Oh, wow. And uh, then, and I, I don't know if the order's correct on these. I, I'm still getting, you know, word of, you know, when they're all coming out and whatnot. But I think uh, Bridge of the Doomed is after that. And then at some point, um, yeah, there's a few more after that. <laughs> well, this motherfucker's got more jobs than The Rock does, man. Holy shit. So many jobs, you don't even know them all. Yeah. Well, I bet you The Rock would be like, uh, Black Adam, work, man. I'm trying to, trying to Fast and stuff. Furious 300. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this motherfucker, he, he's got a job for days. Look at him. Uh, but dude, I don't care if it's part three hundred. I would take some of that Fast and Furious money. <laughs> Hell, I would too. Honestly, I, I would too. I mean, hey, if anybody oh, needs a tall, uh, a mean, uh, not not tall, because I'm not tall, uh, a, a tattooed head meanie, because I can be mean. Uh, hit me up, but hit Casey up actually. Casey's Casey's the actor. There, you, there you are. Yep, Casey's there. Holy shit, my finger is almost... Am I being crushed by a finger on your screen? Is that, is that <laughs> it? My finger is almost as big as your head. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> I'll edit that to where it's actually smashing your oh, face. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, I mean, congratulations on everything, man. It's it's yeah. it's awesome. Um, and we wish you nothing but the best. You know, and I can't wait yeah. to see all these other movies that uh, that come out and have you yeah, on. Ne- next year should be pretty big, so I'm I'm pretty excited about what's what's to come. So yeah. there's a lot of stuff in in post right now. So right on. What 2020 was wasn't all bad. <laughs> and he he took off. <laughs> he ran away. He's sick of me. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really enjoyed. You know, uh, and. Uh, I'm not really one that usually watch a whole lot of indie movies. So mm-hmm. when I when I when I really enjoyed this movie, it, uh, it was a very pleasant surprise, you know. And uh, uh, I'm got really moved. looking forward to seeing more of your stuff here. I, uh, I'll have uh, I'll have Jake here uh, send me some links uh, when when you uh, get it or whatever. And uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, this speak, was cool. this speaking was really of cool. links, uh, I'm going to have the link for the social distance movie, the uh, Amazon link in the description below. So oh, if you guys oh. want to watch this movie, go it's, get it. It's on Blu ray. Yes. Highly Blu-ray. recommended. Yes. Um, and and then he's, uh, he's doing a special edition coming out soon. Uh, so there's that coming out. Um, I guess it's going to be on more VOD uh, sites coming out soon. So it, it's going to get even more out there. So right on. Well, Sweet. it needs to be. I mean, all the awards that it's won and everything. Oh, it is, killed it on yeah. the, the festival circuit. Yeah, killing it. That's that's just crazy. I was so uh, when I saw it uh, on Facebook, I was I was really excited that you know that this this movie that. Uh, was filmed in a pandemic where people couldn't go outside fucking just blew up the internet with, with, or the festivals with, uh, with all these awards and stuff. Mm. Uh, and Mm -hmm. I mean, I wasn't involved with anything, but I was excited because, uh, you know, like I said, we do this every day, uh, over video chat and it's hard. It's rough to do mm-hmm. our show like this and it just it brings us uh home with it you know i mean it, it just immersed ourselves uh in the movie absolutely uh, yeah because we're we're we do it you yeah know? i think I, it's one of those films that it it hits really close to home on a lot of levels for a lot of people yeah. um so you you get that that view kind of like you're watching your own situations um, so, you know, and, and for a lot of people on the same token, I can see where people have been like, it's too close to home. Like, I, I can't watch it. You know, I, I get that too. 
and that's I think a, a credit to how real the film feels. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I can agree there for sure. Yeah, it it yeah. definitely feels very very real and at home. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I really hope that you will come back on your next movie. When oh, absolutely! Comes yeah, out. anytime you want. I mean, me. we're not Jimmy Fallon or no shit like that. But <laughs> fuck, I, I think we yeah. had fun and uh, yeah, we absolutely. really enjoyed having you on, dude. Yeah, right. Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, for yeah, sure, and, man. Hey, anytime you great. just want to hang out and chat with us or whatever, it doesn't have to be about a movie. Um, every once in a while, we'll stream a game on here. <laughs> every year or two. Um, we played GTA Five online a couple of times. Um, uh, I'd say play like Cyberpunk, that. but it just crashes all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't do first-person games very well. I'm an old man, and it gets me dizzy uh, unless I sit like really fucking close to it like this, and then I can play it for like a half hour. Cyberpunk, but if it had like an over-the-shoulder third person, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd be okay because we played um, what is it World War Z, and that's an over-the-shoulder mm-hmm. mm-hmm. shooter, um, and I could play that for hours. It mm. didn't really bother me. But then I played um, what's that game, Ben, where you do it over and over and over and over again? The Stanley Parable. Yeah, the Stanley Parable. I played that, and I just got fucking whoa. Mm. I tried to play it for like an hour, and I just got so fucking dizzy and. Oh, uh, just yeah, dude. I, it w- fucked me up bad. That was like a bad trip. <laughs> you know? Was that on what system? Was that on PC or what uh, console? Yeah, yeah, PC. It's, it's okay. just first it's, person. It's, just, it's, it's like, not like a it's not like a shooter. It's just kind of like a little comedy thing. Go from here to there. But if you stray off the path, it gets funny and things go weird. And yeah, it's an awesome game. Yeah, it's a really awesome game. Yeah, it's, just, it's total. It's totally different. Um. I've been playing a lot of virtual reality lately. I got a PSVR recently, and I've yeah. just been going to town. Yeah, and, lucky uh, bastard. I, I, you know, you think uh, going into first person is going to give you a little bit of motion sickness? There, you should try virtual reality, man. <laughs> I heard good things. I haven't got one of the VRs yet myself, but like I heard they're really great. Oh, I have it's absolutely the most immersive thing I've ever I've ever experienced. Yeah, just huh. absolutely insane. I have a Star Wars AR headset where you actually see your background and everything, uh, and you fight Darth Vader and shit, Um, Mm -hmm. and that doesn't get me dizzy, and I played VR and it didn't get me dizzy because I think I'm not, so what makes me dizzy is that I see this screen right here, and I see this here that's not moving at all, you know, and then I see this moving. So just like riding in a car when I get motion sickness, if I look forward, I'm fine. But if I see any any part of the side, it's going like this, you know, that'll get me motion sickness. So I have to look straight forward the entire time because it, it's like you're seeing different speeds. It's your peripheral vision that's messing you up. Exactly. So everything's going by like this, but you're going like this. Mm. You know, and it just fucks with me. So same thing the cool with the video about game. Virtual reality is that you're not just like it's not like you're looking through a pair of binoculars. The the view goes like up here and and around. You can really see what go. I mean, you can look at the same thing when you turn your head and kind of look to the side. You know, like it's it it fills your view and and, and with a good high frame rate, it just it it really looks like you're there. Mm-hmm. And moving. It's the the moving is where I kind of got the little motion sickness because uh, I set it to you can set it to like either warp or moving like little increments or just like a smooth motion like you would say a, a first person shooter and the smooth motion kind of got me <laughs> so I, mean, I, just, I was taking it off I'm like oh man oh. <laughs> but still so so much fun uh, so much and I got this one called Beat Saber where you don't really move around a lot you just oh, kind of the the one we uh-huh. and all the like guitar here, all oh, the yeah. Nice. yeah. Oh, it's it's a blast. It is a blast. <laughs> Absolutely, I highly recommend it. Yeah. Right on. Well, you got to do a, a review on those, Ben. For you sure. Gotta... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stream some too. I, I just 
upgraded my internet, so I'm gonna do some streaming. <laughs> nice. I I upgraded my internet, but it's still shit. <laughs> we went from a hundred to four hundred, and half the time I get fifty. Oh wow! If that, but you know, you you call the internet or you call the internet company and you say, uh, "Hey, yeah, I do all my business online." So you need to come fix this. And they're here within hours. So, because they don't want to get sued <laughs> for interrupting your business. You know? But, right. anyway. Well, uh, we the rails, did you have anything you want to <laughs> add, Casey? Or do you want to promote anything? Or uh, Like I said, uh, Bloodthirst, uh, Bridge of the Doomed. Um, oh, The Bleeding Dark. That one. That one's coming out. Uh yeah, so there's, a, there's a, I think, my three biggest come in. Are uh, you involved with the Electric Man? I will be. I don't... Uh, I know he named my character. I haven't gotten my part of the script yet. Um, I know currently, right now, he's filming. He's got Tom Sizemore, Eric Roberts. Yeah. Um, somewhere I'll be involved um, in some capacity. Um Right on. I, I, I don't know any more than that at this point, but yes, I, I, I'm, I believe I'm involved. Right on. Nice. Nice. Well, I, I'm really excited for that because he has my logo and or my oh, my, my logo. Nice Where mm -hmm. is it? Right. This is so I flipped the screen so it mm -hmm. wouldn't show stuff backwards anymore. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> all the comics that we shot, they're all backwards. Mm -hmm. Um. So I and I'm usually pointing at the right direction, but now I'm like all fucking backwards. But uh, so he has my logo, and he's going to be putting it in there somewhere. Nice. Uh, I don't know if you saw the the ad for it, but uh, dude's wearing it on his shirt. So, yeah, <laughs> nice. We're involved in some way, I guess. Woo uh, but yeah, dude, we really appreciate you coming on. And uh, if yeah, you ever want to come back, it. yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely, fucking just hit me up, dude. We're we're open. Yep. It's just a matter of getting everybody. Here at the same time, with uh, you know a four-month-old baby uh, and everything, so you know. Has it already been four months? Damn, it's that's been four ridiculous. months, man. <laughs> yeah, time flies. It does, dude. It it yeah. it's crazy. She's a good kid too. Like she doesn't really cry that often. Yeah. When she does, then you know something's wrong. You know, uh, but yeah, four months, man so hard to believe that one year from now she'll be a month or a year and four months <laughs> and it's, it's almost hard to believe that it's been over a year since me and you hung out in person yeah that's that's true man we we've done this show for almost a year uh over webcam over the social distancing socially distanced <laughs> And you know what? I, I think I learned a thing or two about your are uh, from your character. Hold on. <laughs> I'm good. Damn! If I had some white powder right now, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> we could have done a triple nose dive. Damn. <laughs> maybe next time. Maybe. Oh, hang on. <laughs> it all fell out, man. You didn't do it right. No, I got most of it. Did you see the? Did you see that <laughs> shit? That, that look at that. Did you see that? Man. All right, all man. Right. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah. So yep. if you stick around, you'll find out how to win one of the these guys right over here, which is a PlayStation Five or an Xbox Series X. When we hit 5,000 subs, guys, 5,000 subs, okay, you're automatically entered to win a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X. All I have to do is be able to see that you're a subscriber and you're entered. How yeah, fucking easy is that? How easy is that? It's free and you can win an Xbox or a PlayStation. Yep. And they just have to, well, where's the button they have to click? Do you have to do one of those, like, on-screen yep. buttons? Uh, you have to click the line. I can make one. Yeah, you, can, you can, 
Point in the air and say it, and then I'll I'll put one there. Do it, do it here. Pop. Boom. It's Boom. there. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, we thank Casey, Big Ben. Yep. Peace. It's such a dark, dread, dread-filled feeling. You know, mm-hmm. like. You knew it was going worse and worse and worse, not so much by the other characters, but by what your character was doing. And, and uh, yeah, I wanted to do it, you know, make it dark. Yeah, that because that was just kind of my personality anyway. Like, I was like, how far mm-hmm. and how far can I take it? But still keep it re- within the realm of being realistic. Right. You know, because right. the, the, the film could have went, um, went over that line really easily. You know, and, and early on, especially not knowing, you know, I mean, we're, what, nine months into this shit now? Yeah. You know, I mean, even the the number they used, I think it was, I want to say at some point in the movie, it was like, oh, there's been 100,000 deaths from COVID. I mean, like, even that is, like, un, mm-hmm. an underestimate at this point. Yeah. Like, at one point, you know, the film, he thought it was far-fetched. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. And and yeah. so now, yeah, I mean, who knows? It's 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 just one of those kind of things that you know, looking back at this film in ten years, it's going to be like, yep, mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, th- that's well, another, it, it, that's another thing I, it, that I really enjoyed is that you can look back at this, and this is practically fucking historical documents right here. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, and, and I, I didn't even think about the the fact that you guys started way early in this. And this whole thing and that that you it's basically where it is now i mean like you guys successfully predicted the future <laughs> kind, yeah yeah fucking you're the simpsons right yeah and, <laughs> i don't know if we're that far yet but you know it's, it's not trump up the escalator yet but <laughs> yeah uh, is brian a time traveler or he might be he might so. be i wouldn't be surprised well <laughs> Yeah, dude. Ah, uh, damn. But I'm glad you guys liked it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so, man. So I, yeah. I, I was really hoping that I would, and I did. You know. Nice. And usually, yeah. you know how it is. I mean, I've seen your movie reviews on Facebook and stuff. Like, when you go into a movie hoping that it's what you want, and it's not. Mm. It's a fucking. It's a bigger letdown than it normally would if you didn't go in right. and so excited about right. it and hyped about it, you know. And, and I was really excited about this one, you know, because you said that you had a bigger role in it. And, you know, I, I, I like I said, I've followed your career for a while now since we first became friends on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and uh, Tucker, you you know Tucker? Tucker... Which Tucker? <laughs> uh, he used Mother to work. He, he used to work with me, and he uh, he said, "Hey, you want to get into the acting stuff? Here's a guy, Casey." Anyway, he he's the one that basically introduced us. Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, I've been following your career ever since then, and that's been what like two fucking years or something like that. It's been a minute now. Yeah, yeah it's been, I appreciate it. So. Um, but I'm I'm just excited to see where it goes, man. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. And then, me too. I I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and and you already agreed, so you can't go back on this. Just so you know, no matter how big of a movie star you become, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> or the contracts that you sign or whatever, you already agreed to this. Uh, but you're going to come in and be in our short film that we're working on. I'll do it. I'll uh, do it. Uh, and and I already got I got the perfect role for you, and of course you can do whatever you want. You know you're the movie star, mm-hmm. so right. Uh, <laughs> I want I want but, I, I, but, but if, I'm, if if you're gonna call me a movie star, my writer says that I want a bowl of M and M's with all the W's thrown away. Okay, got you <laughs> done. done. Got you. All, all we gotta do is turn them. Make sure it make sure it's on a rotating plate, so no matter where you are, they're all M's. <laughs> Throw away the W's. Right? They'll be full of B's. You don't, you or, don't want a little white out, right? 
or just contact the M and M company because you can have custom M and M's made. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And make oh, them inks. <laughs> just have, have them double print the M, the the M's, uh, so oh, they're okay. like this. Yeah. <laughs> what? Just a, just a whole bowl full of eights. Yeah, <laughs> they're 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 the infinity symbol. Oh uh, shit. Uh. Um, but yeah, dude, we really appreciate it. Um, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, I'm gonna try since there's a vaccine now with you know nanobots or whatever the fuck is in them. Um, I know that since I'm technically an essential employee, I'm third in line to get uh, my vaccine mm-hmm. uh, after all the healthcare workers and um, mm-hmm. rich people and all that stuff. Because, um, I mean, politicians aren't that important. Why should they be getting the first ones, right? But uh, Well, because if it doesn't work, we can off the politicians first. No, I agree. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. But the Yo, sad part is, is, is Yo, the sad the part, part is, is it is working. Seconds. It is working. <laughs> uh, That's a great point, yeah? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> no, I, I completely agree. It's just that it's not working. You know, I mean, it's it's a working vaccine, so we know it's working. But um, yeah. Uh, so we we if we all have our vaccines, um, I'm hoping to shoot in January. Um, maybe February, depending on what happens. Uh, but yeah, and like I said, I have your role. Uh, planned out, but if you want to do a bigger part or whatever, I don't. That's fine with me too. You you can That'll play. Figure it out. Yeah. You can play. You can you can do an Eddie Murphy and play all the characters for. Oh, all the characters. oh, sweet. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Hey, you can do a Robert Downey Jr. too, man. Like from uh, Tropic Thunder. Like, uh, oh, yeah, I. Mm. Mm, mm. Maybe not in this decade. Mm. <laughs> I love that film, but mm, it's it's. You uh, never go full Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't do that anymore. Well, uh. Okay, okay, okay. I respect the hell out of you know RDJ, but man, that is. <laughs> all right, all right. But the yeah, dude. Um, my friend, she uh, she owns an arcade that she's building over here. She's going to let us use that to film in. Nice. Um, and basically, I thought that you could be the, the manager of the arcade. And when okay. the vampire yeah. guy is, like, in the back sucking on somebody, you could be like, Hey! Stop that shit! Or whatever, you know? And uh, then he fucking eats you. Oh, nice. Because, nice. Yeah. Nice. So, yep. yeah. Be a lot of blood and guts. That's that's <laughs> makes me happy. Yeah, but you know, I think I'm I think I'm falling into that that horror movie guy category now, which is fine with me. So, Not, nothing wrong with that, man. I love horror movies. That's oh, absolutely. I I love I I just subscribed to the Full Moon thing, oh, which okay, yeah. Ben remind me, I'll give you the code and everything. Okay. Um, and if you want it, Casey, you can fucking have it too. Uh, my login. Uh, but yeah, dude, I, I watched fucking, what is it, Vampire Journal, hosted by William Shatner. Uh, I watched Blade, the the Puppet Master. Uh, no spinoff. Spinoff, yeah, yeah. Uh, because Puppet Master's like Chucky and Puppet Ma- Puppet Master are like this for me as, as uh-huh. fucking horror movies. I love those movies. Um, and there's like fucking 40 of them or whatever and for subscribing i actually got um a a 12 pack of the puppet master blu-rays oh nice so yeah uh and then i also we also subscribe to uh what is it fright fright night or uh, horror not it's a horror dvd or horror blu-ray set that they're going to send me like four or five blu-rays of horror movies 
every month. Um, and then we'll probably we'll, we're gonna open it on the show. Uh, probably do reviews on them and stuff too. So um, nice. Yeah, we'll see if we can spot Casey somewhere. <laughs> yeah, send me a list of all the movies that you've been in, and I'll I'll see if I can fucking where's my, where's Casey. Well, so a lot of them haven't come out yet. Like, oh, there's there's been a few, but the like the the bulk of my stuff is coming out in the next couple of years because I'm know. I'm finally getting that good stride where. You know, Green Room was the first big thing I did, and then it was kind of like, okay, then what? You know, so now I'm finally starting to, you know, get the ball going, and then 2020 hit, and all of a sudden... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, hey, you're the hardest working man in 2020 right now, dude. You got fucking... You got all these Sorry. movies coming out. I got all this downtime. I'm fucking... <laughs> you know, I gotta try to do something. I clearly can't go to the gym. Yeah, right? Well, I fucking, I started, I said, fuck the gym, man. I, I started buying my own equipment and stuff. Oh, nice, nice. So I've got the elliptical right there. Uh, Ben's got his, his uh, PSVR for his exercise. Mm -hmm. Fucking, there's, there's, yep. you got to try to find your own I way. I fuck the gym, too. Uh, you know, just, just a little bit of a PSVR and some anorexia. Do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that anorexia works, dude. Uh, I've lost uh, thirty-five pounds since I started, so it's fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I mean, so we we've got a lot of good things uh, coming up our way. I'm looking. I'm actually looking for a game developer too. If you know anybody, Casey. Um. Like anybody that writes code for mobile gaming or anything like that. I wish I did. I've been trying to get in the like the the voiceover stuff for a while now, and like I can't, oh, yeah. you know, I haven't found anybody yet. But uh, one of these days. it's on my to do list. Are you on backstage? No. So being in, you know, here in, in Oregon, there's there's just not enough to. It, not enough projects make it worth it for like backstage and stuff like that. You know, I'd, I, I've been branching out to Vegas because I can get there cheap. Yeah. You know, so I see you know, like Bridge of the Doomed, uh, Bloodthirst, we went, we filmed out there. Um, so, so for me so far, those are seem to be the, that seems to be the place to go at this point. See, I was in Vegas for 10 years, man, and there was, wasn't a whole lot going on. Then I move and they fucking start filming. Right. Shit there. <laughs> you, you just got to find the right people. Like the Mahal, uh, the Mahals are out there killing it right now. They're mm -hmm. doing some, they're making, uh, doing a lot of crowdfunding and, uh, doing films, you know, big budget, you know, like 350, $400,000 films, nice. you know? And, and for me, you know, you know, green room, I think was 4 million ish, give or take. Um, so that's obviously the biggest thing I've done, but you know, uh, even a quarter million dollar film is nothing to you know to scoff at. No, it's it's. I mean, it's hard to raise money. You know, I'm I'm trying to raise a little bit of money for yeah. my for my kids' book, uh, Zombies Don't Bite, and uh, it's tough, dude. I've been fucking. Yeah. Let's see, uh, the statistics show that over seventy five thousand people have looked at it you know mm -hmm. um and there's just not eh, un, it's my bad too because i didn't research kickstarter enough apparently they're mm -hmm. going through some shit with uh unions and people are boycotting them because they fired a couple mm -hmm. of people that uh were trying to unionize and all this other shit so um we're probably gonna move the book over to indiegogo once it's done mm -hmm. but uh it's fucking hard to, to raise money, you know? Well, especially now when money's tight for everybody, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, those out there who are who are pulling in some, you know, a, a lot of funds are, are have, have a, a long track record and been doing it for a while. And even then, a lot of them aren't, you know, bringing in the same amount they were before. So hopefully, hopefully we all get our $600 checks and, you know, can, can throw a little more money at people. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I love the whole crowdfunding, you know, doing it that way. You know, I think it's it's great for a lot of people. Yeah, no, I think yeah. uh, a lot of movies can uh, would never get made without it. You know, mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. that's disappointing uh, considering how how many good movies there actually are that mm-hmm. are crowdfunded. You know, well, like uh, what was the what was my favorite one? Uh, was it Turbo Kid? Yeah. Yeah, Turbo Kid. Wasn't that one crowdfunded? That one was crowdfunded. Uh, there was also that... Um, I remember that, yeah. yeah. yeah Turbo uh, Kid. What was it? It had the, it had the dinosaur cop, um, and it was like oh. a Kung Fu... Kung Fury. Yeah, no. Yeah. Was it Kung no? Fury? Oh, I fucking I love that movie. movie. Yeah. Was Wasn't it Kung Fury where he punched movie. the car and the car flew? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. He's so, in a fight with the arcade machine at the beginning. Yeah, like, and he, and and his yeah. his cop partner or whatever was a rhinoceros or a yeah. triceratops or whatever. Yeah, so he has four, I believe that was crowdfunded. <laughs> yeah, that movie was great, dude. I love that movie. Yeah, I no, watched that, it like five times. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, that was a really good one, and it, without crowdfunding, that would have more than likely never got made. Yeah. Um, you know, because these Hollywood producers and shit, they, they don't want to. They don't want to take chances on things like that, you know? Uh, but then again, you know, a film like Sharknado has six sequels and is probably one of the biggest film, you know, biggest money-making franchises in years. Well, right? what the hell? Uh, Look at the numbers of Sharknado. It's insane. It is crazy. Yeah, there's like six or seven movies of Sharknado. But I, I will tell you this, this little tidbit secret that nobody knows. Never seen one of them. Oh, you gotta watch them. They're great. <laughs> they're so they're they're cameo fest. After the first one, yep. they're all just cameo fests. Really? Like you, uh, I think one. Like I remember spotting Seth Rollins in one. Like Brett Michaels. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just you. That's you. Just watch them for like who can you spot? Who's gonna get e- eaten by a flying shark next? Huh? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Well, let's hope one of them's you, Casey. I hope in, so. I'll be in Sharknado. In Sharknado 15. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to I wanna chase Danny Trejo's record, of because I think he's been murdered, I think the last count of like 75 times. Wow. Yeah, so I'm, I think I'm up to like seven or eight. See, you know, I got a ways to go, but I got some years left, I think. That, that's who I want to model my career after is Danny Trejo. Like he's got a taco business, he's got a donut yep. business. He's in like every kind of movie you could ever think of. Uh, Tarantino, Spy mm-hmm. Kids, you know his own Machete, which is a spinoff of Spy Kids for some reason. I don't know. No, it's a spinoff of um, Bad House. I believe was the name of the movie, and uh, and that was a uh, 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 based on a fucking old guy who beat the crap out of someone on a bus. Yeah, yeah. So, so he his name in Spy Kids is Machete, right? But that came after and, he because he was Machete first in uh, Desperado, or was it Dusk of Dawn? No, Dusk of Dawn. He was he was just a vampire. Okay. Well, have you watched they they explain? Have you watched his documentary? No. Okay. Watch. You, Phenomenal. Where is it? Watch. Uh, I I think you you watch on like Prime or or wherever it is, but look it up. Um, the the Danny Trejo documentary is phenomenal. Me, it goes all about his time in prison, and it, it actually talks about you know how Machete ended up in you know, Spy Kids and all that. It, it goes through the whole thing. It's so good. Oh wow! Right on, right on. I have to check that out. Yeah, I'm looking it like up right now. <laughs> Is it called? Well, hey, uh, I gotta go, you guys. I gotta deliver some Christmas gifts to the grandkids. All right. Is it uh, inmate number one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it says rent or buy, but I'll look it up and watch yeah. it. Uh, if I don't send you guys the the passcode to get into that full moon thing, just remind me because I forget shit. Right. I do have to go also. And just so you guys know, I was recording the entire time. <laughs> So that was some great stuff. I'm, I'm used to it now with the, with that. Well, I mean, if you don't want me to use any of it, I won't. But the, 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 
I, 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 I'm just used to recording, and I record everything. No, it's fine. No, it's use, it, use it all. <laughs> oh, I'm using it all. I'm gonna have my finger down like like that, and and when you did that, I'm gonna have you holding my finger, and I'm gonna. Make you licking it? I'm gonna all I'm gonna fuck it all up, dude. <laughs> oh, well, you know. But uh I, Hey thanks again for coming on the show, man. Oh, yeah, great. man. Thank thanks again, dude. And uh you're more than welcome anytime to to join us. Cool. Anytime. We'll do it again. Yep. yep. Alright man. See ya. Right on. Cool. Hey guys. If you like those videos, make sure you click over here or here. Or click here to subscribe. Peace.